Hey guys, it's me Jasmine and today we're making a surprise recipe for my friends Katie and Kelly. Wait, I thought what I thought we we're making it like a breakfast. You guys know how I'm always talking about boba. Yeah. And remember I showed you guys those boba pancakes I had in Taiwan? Yes. No. I, we're gonna make oh. those today. A couple years ago I went to Taiwan. I tried these super delicious boba milk tea pancakes. The pancakes are black tea infused. It's got this amazingly light whipped cream on top that's infused with milk and tea. Literally tastes like a milk tea. And then we're gonna top it with these luscious boba pearls. We can't go to Taiwan right now. So I figured why not bring Taiwan to Tasty. We're not making a, like a breakfast three ways. No. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yes. Yes. What's with your shirt? This is us. It's me, Katie and Kelly. Are you the one that's quacking? Yeah, I talk loud and a lot. <laughs> Let's cook. So we're gonna start by infusing the heavy cream. So I have a small saucepan here. I'm just gonna add some heavy cream and then one black tea bag. I love tea infused anything, so good. We're just gonna heat that on low for about five minutes and then let it cool. We're making this early. This is gonna be used for the cream that goes on top of the pancake, but we need to let it chill after so we can whip it. So we're gonna make this one first. But we're not gonna let this boil for too long because if it gets too dark, we're not gonna get that beautiful white in the cream. I'm using black tea, so it tastes like a milk tea. If you like other teas like green tea or oolong, I haven't tried it with them, but I feel like that could be something very fun to experiment with. In my opinion, this is the most important part of the dish. I feel like most of the boba flavor comes from the cream. This looks about done. I am going to transfer this into the bowl here and cover it and let it chill for about four hours. Y'all aren't ready. I'm excited. I'm sad that we have to wait four hours. <laughs> you know what? With patience comes great things. Isn't there a phrase? With greatness comes great responsibility. <laughs> There's a patience one, right? With, with, pa with pa patience. All good things come from those who wait. Great things, patience is what gives it to you. I'm the one guy that got left behind. While this is cooling, we're going to make boba. That's maybe the best part. I don't know, man. Everything's so good about this dish. Well, let's make the boba first. <laughs> I have my boba here. I made this from scratch earlier. If you want to make boba from scratch, you should check out my video of how to make bubble tea. We'll add the boba into the pot. I'm just stirring this so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And now I will let that boil for about 20, 25 minutes until they're done. The boba looks done. Let's take it out. Look how cute they are. Sometimes when you make it from scratch, they can turn out a little bit lighter, just depending on what sugar you use. And you can also flavor them if you wanna have flavored boba. What's your favorite type of flavored boba? Original. If I ever go to a new boba spot, I'm always getting a classic like signature milk tea with boba, no alterations to ice level or sugar level because I wanna know what their standard is. You gotta have a good base, you know? Someone once called me a boba elitist. I was offended at first, but it's not my fault I have good taste in boba. So I'm just a boba connoisseur to be less pretentious. <laughs> I'm gonna go rinse these under cold water to keep them from continuing cooking. And then we are going to make our brown sugar bath. When you make boba, there is some sugar used to make it, but not a whole lot. So the flavor's not incredibly strong. We're actually using muscovado sugar, but if you only have brown sugar, that works totally fine. Water. We're gonna cook this down until it becomes a little thicker. What's the difference between muscovado and brown sugar? So muscovado sugar sugar has a higher molasses content. I use muscovado sugar more for a look thing to get it nice and dark, like the boba you're used to seeing at boba shops, but you can use brown sugar. Also, the higher content of molasses in the muscovado sugar just gives it a richer flavor. It's leaving a streak as I pull alongside the bottom of the pan. It's nice and thick. And I'm just going to pour this over my boba. Ooh, baby. Look at how dark that is, dark and rich. I'm giving this a good stir so it's all evenly coated. I'm gonna let the boba soak for about an hour. And in the meantime, let's get started making the pancakes. Why are you so excited? Why aren't you excited I enough? I am excited. <laughs> I will be one lone duck on this shirt. Pancakes, pancakes. The pancakes taste so good. They are tea infused and you can definitely taste the flavor of the tea in the pancakes. I'm gonna take some milk and then add some butter and a couple bags of black tea. I actually, my mom is friends with a tea master, a Taiwanese tea master, and we get all our tea from his tea farm. So I'm melting the butter down and I'm infusing the tea into the milk. Everything just needs to fuse together like a happy marriage. Are you nervous? A little bit. You know, like when you try so hard to give someone something that you think they'll like and they're like, oh, it's like getting someone a gift. It's one of those, so I'm a little nervous. So we're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes, making sure to really get that tea flavor out of the tea bags, but I'm not gonna let it come to a boil. Once your liquids are boiling and you have your tea in there, you have a high chance of burning your tea leaves, which will just give it a super bitter finish. And we don't want that, especially not when I'm trying to impress my friends. <laughs> 
I actually throw boba parties. So I'll have people come over, we'll make the dough from scratch, everyone can, everyone can roll it all up. Obviously I haven't had one since the pandemic started. So once it's lifted, boba party at my place. The butter is melted and it's been simmering for about 10 minutes. You can really see the deep, rich color of the tea that has come out. Now we are just going to squeeze out the excess liquid from the tea bag. Be careful because uh, if you puncture it, it's all gonna fall out. Now we're gonna just transfer this. We're gonna let this cool and then come back and make the batter. All right, it's time to make the pancake batter. This is actually the same pancake batter from Tasty 101, how to make the fluffiest pancakes. If you wanna make those, go check it out. This one is just tea infused. That's really the only difference. In this bowl here, I'm gonna add some flour, sugar, salt, baking powder and baking soda. Just gonna whisk that. In this bowl, I have the tea milk butter mixture. It's cooled. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla and then an egg yolk. We're just gonna mix this together. This pancake was on the list for what to do when I got to Taiwan. And actually it was a really hard journey finding it. We couldn't find the place that I was like tucked between this famous mall, but I, we just couldn't find it. I'm happy we went because they don't serve these pancakes anymore. They changed their recipe. Let's pour in this mixture and we're just gonna fold it in. I'm gonna fold this so it doesn't get over mixed. Some lumps are okay, but not too many. I travel to eat. I let my taste buds guide me. I feel like food is the window to culture. I love this one specifically too, because it's like a mix, American and Taiwanese flavors. Pancake, boba, mm. all right. This looks good, adding in the egg white. So I added in the egg white after and it helps it rise a little better, making it more fluffy. The batter looks about done. We're just gonna let this rest for 15 to 30 minutes, let the gluten relax, and that'll help make it light and fluffy when we cook them. It's time to make the pancakes. I'm gonna add some butter. We're just gonna let that melt. We are going to add some batter. I'm doing a third cup, but these are gonna be large, large pancakes. In the cafe, it's nice and large, very generous. They know that you would want more than a regular size pancake. So you're gonna deliver. Oh, hell yeah. Especially if it's for my friends. We're cooking it on medium low heat. There's some extra sugar in this batter to make that milk tea flavor really come to life. And we're just gonna cook it for about four minutes and until we see these bubbles rise and then they're ready to flip. Wow, she's gorgeous. Yes, the color is beautiful, like a royal milk tea. Okay, this looks good. I'm gonna plate this. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until we're out of batter. All right, now we're gonna make the cream. Again, this is the best part. So we're gonna start with that infused cream that we made at the very beginning. Mascarpone and powdered sugar. It was so hard to find the mascarpone. I was standing in the cheese section for so long and I couldn't find it. And then I finally found it in the charcuterie section. So tip, go to the charcuterie section if you are trying to make these pancakes. So we're gonna mix it and start it on low and slowly build up to medium speed. We want it to be thicker, but still slightly runny because that cream has that very nice glossy finish on it, but still runs down the pancakes and drapes over it like beautiful curtains. The color's definitely looking exactly like it did in Taiwan. It's got a good texture that will lock onto the pancakes and mesh well with the boba. All right, this is beautiful. Not too thick, not too runny. Let's get to assembling. Moment of truth, it's time for assembly. We have our pancakes, our boba that has been sitting in the brown sugar bath for an hour, and our cream that was just freshly made. So we're going to start with taking one pancake and placing some boba on top. Now we're gonna to top it with our second pancake, add more boba. We're gonna keep doing this until we have four pancakes stacked. Now we can top it with our milk tea cream that is Beautiful, so fluffy. Look at the way it's just falling down the sides. It's like a beautiful waterfall. Finally, we're gonna top it with a scoop of boba. Oh my God, okay, it's done. All the hard work and waiting. Oh, I'm so excited. It feels like we're really just right back in Taiwan at Belle Epoque Cafe. I'm really excited to share this with Katie and Kelly. I can't wait for them to try it. This looks incredible. The cream looks like actual clouds. Eat it. Okay, eat it. If I could curse, I would. This is so good. I cannot believe it. The pancakes are fluffy, just like she said. The boba is chewy and tender. You can tell that they're homemade. It literally tastes like I'm drinking a boba tea. I'm gonna take this and maybe this one for later. This is so good, Jasmine. Yeah. This looks, look at all those layers of boba and pancake. I'm very excited. Shall I? You shall. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. The texture is really crazy with the boba and the pancake. The muscovado sugar reminds me of like sticky toffee pudding. It's just got these nice mapley notes almost in there. I really think that the milk cream tea part, that is what sells it. With the boba on top, those two things together, that's a dynamite pairing and it really does taste like boba tea. If you haven't had boba, so you've had fresh boba, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's the ending. That's the ending. Oh, yes! <laughs> Tasty remix! <laughs> <laughs>